Okay, so at this point we've hopefully all learned that um, m stands for moles per liter while v stands for volume, which is typically measured in liters. So if we wanted to find what the quantity of moles was in this cup, let's say that, there, that the concentration is 4 moles per liter. So I've put here that, there, that there's one, one liter in there. So to find out how many moles we have in there, we would just go ahead and write moles equals molarity times volume. And why does that work out? Well, if we multiply moles per liter times liters, those units are going to cancel out. So the liters is going to cancel out with this liters and you will end up with just moles. So what we can do for a dilution problem is we can go ahead and add additional water and we will find that we will have a more diluted substance. So you'll notice that the moles here are more spread out than they are over here. Here they're more concentrated. So if this was, for example, salt water, this would be much stronger salt water than this would. So in order to find out exactly how much stronger it is, we use the equation M1 V1 equals M2 V2. So this equation tells us that the molarity of the first guy times the volume of the first guy equals the molarity of the second guy times the volume of the second guy. So in this case, um, well we can go ahead and divide or, or multiply by whatever we want. So here we know that we've got two liters, so we want to find out what the molarity is in this region. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is try to get rid of this volume so that we can solve for M2. So I'm going to divide both sides by V2 and we're going to be left with M2 equals M1 V1 all over V2. So if we wanted to find what that molarity is, we would go ahead and say 4 moles per liter times, and I, I would normally write out the units, but I'm you know, this is on the, the screen, so it's a little bit harder to write. So 4 moles per liter times 1 liter divided all by 2 liters. So this is going to end up being 2 moles per liter. So that would be how you would find your molarity in this new, uh, in this new diluted problem. So it's a pretty simple concept. You just basically go M1 V1 equals M2 V2, which is this equation right here, and you can rearrange it to solve for any of those variables. Alright, so hopefully that helps, and I'll see you guys at the next lesson.